chat up Mr. Hands, shall we? Hands, need a favor. Hands. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Kanpeki Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation no. and dog down a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. Not right, the hands. side mission thing. I'm oh so glad. I'll feed her sane. No. No. V, I had a nightmare recently. My synth lungs were hacked. I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness, and woke up. My client, Indira Barrett, is so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. He works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. If anything's unclear, read the attached details. For a kill. I got you. Got you with that kill. I don't see shit. Oh, it didn't pull me out of combat. It's not invisible. They oh, can't see me now, can they? Fight the back. Is there a man's behind me. Uh. Find Miko Alexis. I feel like I shouldn't be in combat anymore because I'm invisible. And go down. That's great. Oh, it has a cooldown that ability. I instantly go out of uh, visibility, out of uh, out of combat. Here. See, you could have just said that he was up here the whole time. Oh, I don't give a shit about this guy. Fuck this guy. I don't give a shit. Fuck him. This man is. This man is in. This man is in this enemy base. He's gonna like cower before me, brother. Activating defense systems, forty percent. Uh, robot R. Commencing neutralizing threat. Robot. Terrorist activity. Jesus. Unironically, want to use the sniper because uh, 
Invisible guy. Ironic, they want to use the sniper because of the whole scope. Human life signature detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Unlocking emergency exit. Yes, but where would I find the emergency exit? This way? Spooky, scary place. Hey, hey. Careful with that. I'm linked to the runner. See? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? I don't give a shit about him. Fuck him too. Fucking loser. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't give a shit. Fuck that guy. That's 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 fucking dumb. That's collateral damage right there. Bam. Already identified. Guards have been alerted. So I'm guessing Dog Dogtown is like the bad part of town for Night City, which is already just How's the dress horrific. Still dry. Stitches on in place. It hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. <sighs> we'll all rot without Anderson anyway. Go in. Oh. You gonna show? Adele Blanco. Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed... You're getting a little really close to upset. me there, religious man. Scav's got all the doors covered? Main one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the Scav's heard Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Heard kill. Why didn't she die in one hit? Oh my god, I really do have stalker. What is that? What is that? What is that? Where was it? Well, some dumb. What I had, I thought I got another sniper there. This one. Oh, attack sniper. I don't care about that. What was that? Can't trace my location if I'm invisible. Um, scary place. Failed. Good. <laughs> Shit. Threw a grenade at him. Well. One of the RB. The melee him. I was playing Destiny earlier. <laughs> my brain is like RB is the... Yeah, got back into Destiny. I wouldn't say got back into it. Still bad. 
I re-downloaded it. Ah! Excuse me. Very rude of you. If I aim actually, crouch him. Stay back. Where's Gaspar? Tell me. No, you step back, or I blast you. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You off your ass. Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Oh, what the fuck? You! Finally. You couldn't have done that from the start? No, the game wouldn't let me. Need me for anything else? Hmm. Better clean up this mess. The patients, what's their status? With Odell, out in the street, waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. Her gigs are exactly what I thought they were. Where you just go into an area and kill some dude, and then talk to a guy, and then it's like, you did it. I want to get out of here. This way. Wow. Love doing gigs for Mr. Hands. Let me guess. My objective is going to be to kill them. V. A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day of Dogtown. Until I received word from Zeta Tech CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor staff seemed unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their sick. Go to the scaff's nest in the scraper in the Lockshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. No point in hiding! Speaking Russian at me. The headquarters. Headquarters. Oh, yeah.
some nice combat areas. Wish the frames were better. Saw her teleport just like I did, didn't you? That was fucked up. Fuck that guy. He's dead. Oh, not the technical ability. Oh, I can go this way. Oh. You, over here. <laughs> was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Let me guess right back. Want me to rescue you? No, no. The prototype and its schematics, correct? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Mm-hmm. Cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir, Zeta tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. Fixer didn't mention a rescue op. Only the prototype. You got it? Oh, I have it. Wait, wait, wait. Telling me you planted that tech in your own damn skull? Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech? No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah, not a crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. Find the passcode. On the computer. Two seven five three. I like how they make V say it. With the information that you need. Oh, it's one of these. Two seven five three. Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. That is one of the walking animations of all time. Jesus, is that Harry? The man was a real prick, but this it's barbaric.
I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zetatek. Nearly burned here. Ah. So, sir, onward. <clears throat> right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Yeah. Prem, got it. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them, which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. Yeah, how do I do that? This button? It's time we were on our way. Lower. <laughs> Reveal. Will be just You're fine. taking five ever, Stop. brother. Keep it together. Legit, just so much time, brother. Just such an unbelievable amount of time, this man. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scabs on our backs, no? Guy's gonna betray us at the end, right? Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one. Truly, it was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Okay. Fine, don't care. Next time you're in trouble, don't call me. <laughs> Worry not, my friend. I've learned my lesson. I'll catch my breath now. Appreciate your help. Smooth sailing. Farewell. Yeah, yeah. Watch yourself out there, Hassan. Did not finish it. There we go. I want to go down. I want to do it. I'm gonna jump. Ooh, got a fucking shock for real. But the job's all done. Here we go. Oh, the job item. Nice. Great. I did it. V. A little birdie chirp that you retrieve Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie got it. Schematics are in the drop point. Hassan will deliver the prototype to Zeta Tech personally. Hassan, pray elaborate. Corporal Rat slotted the tech in his eye. Supposed to take the thing to Zeta Tech after I busted him out of the scav haunt. He call you yet? Well, color me shocked. No Hassan contacted me. But no matter, at least you still have the schematics. Huh. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Consider the contract closed. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Meet me at the Heavy Hearts. Okay, be there soon. They're pissed at me. Ooh. Damn. Hell yeah, brother. 
Hey, you there. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men. Gay boy. No. Get him out of here. Not the men. Uh, two, five, eight, nine. You know what? That guy, that guy's having his, his, his a great time. Good for him. Uh, private room? Private floor. We go. Father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. Mr. Hand. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis a vis Hanson. It's the architect. It's the Matrix. Requested. Accordingly. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Despite some setbacks, you retrieve the Zeta Tech blueprints, making impossible decisions under immense pressure, an invaluable skill that few possess. You have proven to be a person I can trust, hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. Giant cats. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hanson at the helm? Hanson wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Oh yeah. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Docktown? Do you know? There's nothing in the cup. I know there is. I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. 
Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. It's all well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire, Hanson Stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. That's me. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. Yeah. <clears throat> the Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. He's cool. And V... Whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? Mm. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, Hans. Later, brother.